Good morning, everybody, and this is your Dow Jones uh, day trade setups for today. So, um, looking at Wall Street at the moment, we have got a result in on the presidency, but we still don't know whether Trump's going to concede. So, uh, we have gapped up quite handsomely. We're up uh, our futures market at the moment is up something like two percent, I think. Uh, let me just find it quick. Dow Jones US 30 is up 1.3 percent at the moment so um, there are a couple of critical levels in and I've got them so it's a previous high obviously which is this area here of 28.931 then we've got this breakout here of uh, 28.372 then we have a few trend lines now the trend lines are always interesting because if you draw one in which was pretty much respected for quite some time um, which is not this bottom one I think we can actually just get rid of that but it's this trend line here you can see how well it was respected uh, break test mess around around it and then up again so at the moment um, if you look at this below the moving average above the moving average below the moving average above so complete confusion for the last uh, couple of months but I would expect us probably to find some selling pressure somewhere around 28 800 but that would be the pullback that I'd be looking for so I'm still looking to buy the pullbacks at the moment that's uh, pretty much all I'm focusing on so if we move across to the three hour you'll see look to the left you've got all this congestion along this moving average um, even there you had quite a bit of congestion on Friday and then all of a sudden we've gapped up I'd like to see a pullback pull back on structure and then an opportunity to buy into that so before we get into the um, the one hour I've been thinking and I'm really curious to see where everybody's from so why not just drop me a comment just to tell me which country you're from um, the subscriber base is growing tremendously and I'd love to know where everybody's actually from um, basically gives me a bit of a better insight into how to prepare these videos as well anyway uh, let's just get down to the hour that's what we're looking for that's actually exactly what we're looking for so we've had a gap up remember most of these uh, Monday morning gap ups uh, are they do close sometime in the week so uh, there's a high probability of, a, of that gap closing but that just basically means we should be looking for the pullback now pullback onto structure first bit of structure is obviously this level here 28372 second bit of structure is right here at 28482 so I'd like to see a pullback I'm not looking to to short this uh, anything can happen uh, there is overhead resistance here so you've got this 28800 area and then obviously you have 28931 as your overhead resistance so I'd be watching those areas for uh, profit taking but for me I'm looking for this Come back onto structure so we can get an opportunity to buy into this okay and again same story as last week uh, I would just pay attention to the 15 minutes although Friday wouldn't have helped you at all uh, it was a bit chaotic uh, Friday morning maybe no nope, Friday morning wouldn't have been uh, the day before you could see there was structure on the 15 but Friday was really a nothing day in any case you don't always want to be trading Friday mornings okay so that's kind of the situation I see at the moment. Uh, Europe may just bounce up as well, which will drag this higher. And then you'll see um, it's probably some profit taking for a move to the downside, just to come and find structure for another attempt up. Okay, so that's kind of my view at the moment. Uh, looking to buy, looking for the pullbacks. We are looking a little bit tired at the moment, uh, but who knows? there may be still some political noise uh, just watch out just watch Twitter and there's probably going to be a lot of political noise still which may actually influence this at the moment so that's my strategy for today uh, wait for the pullback buy into this and probably take profit in one of these two areas here 28800 and uh, 28900 areas okay anyway that's it for me today hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you later cheers for now